Fostering kittens can be hard, but just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not worth it. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer. My pronouns are they, them, and I am a teen with a passion for animal rescue and, in particular, kitten rescue. So, I come to you with my life in an absolute crazy situation. I just got some new kittens that are pretty much taking up the vast majority of my time right now. I will introduce them to you in just a minute. This video is basically just an introduction to them, me telling their story, you've seen some cute kittens, some very tiny cute kittens. Quick note, my glasses here, I usually wear my contacts but I am wearing my glasses today. But today's video is just an introduction to this lovely mama cat right here and her two babies who are back there. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you their story first. And I'm probably just going to be on the mama cat for most of that time because she's really cute and she's really sweet. So this is another calico mama. I don't know why, but all but like four or five of my mama cats have been calicos. I just, I don't know, I, I get all the calicos. The calicos gravitate towards me. <laughs> so well, this girl is very sweet. She has a pretty sad backstory. So this girl right here is named Carolyn. I'll put the spelling of this name on the screen right now because it is spelled in a more unique way. Oh, you just want to get in my lap, so I have to move the camera to see you. Hi. She was named by the rescue I'm fostering her through, but I named the kittens and I will tell you their names in just a minute. And for this next part of the story, I am going to be giving a content warning just because there is some animals hurt in this part of the story and there are some animals that pass away in this part of the story. So I'm just letting you know about that. If you can't hear about that at this time, this video probably isn't the right one for you, but hi. <laughs> She's wanting to be pet. But Carolyn was unfortunately hit by a car and she was taken in by the rescue Kentucky Pets Alive, a rescue I've fostered for and volunteered with before. And they took her in after she was hit by a car and they didn't really know the extent of her injuries so they took her right to the vet. And the vet realized that she was pregnant. She was very heavily pregnant. And so they knew she had no choice but to have her babies because she was so far along. So she had her babies. The vet guessed there would be four or five babies and she did have four babies, but unfortunately two of them were stillborn. The vet thinks that two of Carolyn's babies were stillborn because of the crash. They don't know exactly where she was hit. We can just infer, but it would make sense that she was hit kind of in her uterus area partially. So two of the babies unfortunately didn't make it. They didn't even take a breath, the vet said. And Carolyn also sustained some injuries herself. She doesn't have any broken bones, fortunately, but she does have some brain damage. She has some neurological stuff, and we're still trying to figure out exactly what that damage is. It's not as easy to tell as like a broken bone through an x-ray, but she did have some brain swelling, so she's on meds for that. And she kind of falls over a lot, not in the way that Smee, my cat with cerebellar hypoplasia does. She just kind of tips over sometimes. Her brain doesn't quite work right. And we also think that she is mostly blind. We think she has some vision in one of her eyes, but she definitely doesn't have vision in the other eye. And we're not really sure if that's gonna get better or not. She might have a little bit of vision improvement, but the vet doesn't think that she would ever get her full vision back. If she did, that would be amazing, but it's unlikely. But one thing about Carolyn is her baby babies are very, very tiny. The vet did think she was full term, but her babies are more the size of premature babies because they're about half the weight that is average for newborn kittens. The average weight for newborn kittens is, I would guess, just 80 grams to 120 grams. And the babies I have are about 54 grams and 64 grams. So much, much smaller than that. And while we do think the babies are full term, we think that when she was hit by the car, her body went into survival mode and wasn't able to give as much nutrition to her babies as they needed. There is a chance they could be premature, but I do think it's most likely that the babies just didn't grow as much as they needed to because Carolyn was so focused on keeping herself alive. Poor baby, you see she also has some scratches next to her eyes. This is the eye she has some vision in, but she doesn't have too much vision. 
She is an extremely sweet girl though. She's extremely loving. She loves to be picked up. She prefers to eat right in my lap where I can hold it for her. And she's also not the best at the litter box, so I change out her blankets and the baby's pen several times a day so the babies don't have to sit in that. And so she doesn't either. <laughs> and Carolyn is supposed to stay in here with her babies <laughs> because of her disabilities, her neurological stuff, but it's okay. I'm watching her out of the corner of my eye, so I can go ahead and show you the babies. They are quite hard to spot in here because they're literally burrowed. They're buried. Where's your sibling? Oh, they're buried. It's like hunting, hunting for hidden treasure. Little babies. So these guys are very, very tiny. And honestly, to be real, I don't know if they're gonna live. With babies this small, it's pretty much a day by day thing. You never really know until a few weeks down the road. And so I am very hopeful that these guys will make it, but I never know for sure. I am filming this on Sunday, March 13th, but this video won't go up until the following Wednesday. So I hope by the time you're watching this, these babies are still alive, but I can't say for sure. I'm very hopeful, but I don't know how much logic there is in that hope. These babies are very active and I am able to get them to eat. They latch about half the time and the other half of the time they just swallow happily. It's just they don't quite know how to latch every time but I definitely don't think we should tube feed them because they do eat and there's never any milk like dribbling down their fronts or anything because they do swallow it relatively enthusiastically. They're hard to see because they're dark colored. They're both black and white. They are very active, but you never really know. The first like 24 hours that I had them, they both gained 2 grams. But unfortunately they've lost 4 grams since then, so they are both down 2 grams since when I got them. I'm really, really hoping that they can gain their weight back, but like I said, you never know for sure. Right now, I'm just hopeful. <laughs> I can't say I'm optimistic, but I am hopeful. If they don't make it, I will insert a video clip at the beginning of this video to let you guys know that they didn't make it. But I really, really hope that I don't have to do that. I went into this telling myself that these were some of the tiniest babies I've ever had. I might have had one baby that was smaller, I can't remember. I had a litter of kittens that were named after different shades of purple over a year ago and they all passed away. And one of them might have been tinier, but I honestly think these might be the tiniest kittens, at least the girl who is smaller, the 50 gram one, which I will show. I'm not sure if this is her, I can't tell from their backs, I can only tell from their fronts. Hi! I will go ahead and pick this one up and show you. I don't want to pick them up too much because they need the heat. I decided to name them Lucky and Clover because it's around St. Patrick's Day and I thought they could definitely use a little luck. This is Clover. He is a boy and he is the bigger one of the two, although he is still incredibly small. I know I'm just going on a tangent right now showing them, but I wanted to show you guys them so you knew what they looked like and weren't just looking at a blanket. This baby is Lucky. This is the girl. She is extremely tiny. Like, look at her compared to the size of my hand. I think she looks more like a mouse than a cat, but I'm really, really hopeful that she can live long enough to turn into a big kitty. I don't remember exactly what I was saying before I went off on a tangent. This video didn't really have a plan. I'm really tired and my brain is kind of scrambled. As long as I'm doing the regular nighttime feedings, my videos are probably just going to be fun and maybe not super scripted because I honestly don't know if I have energy for that right now. Oh, I remember what I was saying. I told myself going into this that I couldn't get attached to these babies because I didn't know if they were gonna live yet. But unfortunately, human emotions don't work like that and you can't just tell your emotions, hey, don't get attached. And I ended up getting attached anyway. I think these babies are so incredibly sweet. They're so cute and I will feed them as soon as I turn off this camera. It hasn't even been two hours since I last fed them, but Lucky is crying. But the reason I'm so tired is because Carolyn can't actually care for them like a mama cat should be able to. She just doesn't really know how to care for her babies. She cares for them a lot and she will lie in here and be kind of a living heat pad for them like mama cats should be. And when I wake them up and they meow, she does come looking for them like she did just now. She was over doing something else and when they started meowing, she came over. And she does seem to care for them, but she doesn't do anything else to take care of them. She doesn't lick them or help them go to the bathroom. And she also doesn't have any milk production. The vet did prescribe an injection to help boost milk production, but it didn't really work. And while we have been giving her a lot of food and water, and while we've been trying to get some milk to come in, 
by feeding her fatty kitten food, lots of it, and giving her water and helping her drink a lot, and that injection that is supposed to help boost milk production, she hasn't gotten any yet. And at this point, I don't know if she's going to, which is why I'm so tired, because even though these kittens have a mom, their mom isn't taking care of them, which means I am. I'm syringe feeding them every two hours, so 12 times a day, and that means I'm getting up every two hours in the middle of the night. I am very tired on day two of getting up every two hours, and I know it's just going to continue because it will be at least a week before I can stop the every two hours, and then I will still be getting up at least two times at night for a while. And I might seem complainy going on saying how tired I am, but I'm not. I'm just being honest. Fostering kittens is so fun, and it can be so rewarding. You can watch some of my other videos of kittens playing and me laughing, and it's so great. But other times, it's hard. When you have to get up every two hours to help kittens you don't even know if they're going to live, it's hard. It's difficult. And it's also hard to see a cat like this that was hit by a car. Also, because I've already gotten some comments like this on TikTok, I don't know anything about who hit her by a car or if it was an accident or not. I really hope it was an accident, and I hope the person that hit her was the one that got her into a rescue, but I don't know, and I don't think I have the mental energy to ask right now. I might find out when the kittens are older, but for now, I think I'm just gonna rest knowing that she's safe with me now, even though it's really sad that she was hit by a car. And so, yes, fostering is hard, and it's sad at times, but my channel has always been about being real. <laughs> my channel has not been about showing only the highs of anything. That's why I'm real about my mental health, and real about how fostering kittens can be hard. But just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not worth it. For me, it's so worth it. It's so worth it for the kittens that grow up and get adopted. I know that if these babies get adopted, I will cry when they do. I'm tearing up just at the thought of it because they deserve it so much. But even if these babies do pass away, I won't regret taking them because all they've known for their few days of life, and they're only three days old by now, is love. And that's all I want them ever to know. <laughs> So yes, I don't know what the future will hold, but I really, really hope the future holds them growing up and living long, happy lives. But hello, welcome to my face. That got very sentimental. I didn't know if that's what I intended. I didn't really intend anything with this video. I just intended to turn on the camera, blabber, and show kittens. But yes, I am here. I will only get more tired. I don't know, I'm going to be filming a lot of videos about these guys, but I do only upload on YouTube twice a week, and that's if I can, if I do actually get my YouTube videos up. I also want to say though, if you want more frequent content updates on them, I do post much more frequently on Instagram and on TikTok, and both of those are at the kitten choreographer, and I do have those linked in my description as well. I'll probably eventually do a video talking about how I care for them if they do continue to you know, be here. But right now, I'm going to go feed them. And I'm not gonna film that right now because it's just hard to film. And when I'm feeding them right now, I just wanna focus fully on being with them and making sure they're swallowing and making sure that nothing happens to them, like aspiration or anything like that. I'm trying to end this video on a positive note. Everyone in the comments, send the best well wishes, good vibes or prayers, whatever you believe in, for these two little babies, Lucky and Clover. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more kitten-related content. I I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays if I can, and if I can't, then I upload whenever I am able. Also, please make sure to leave any thoughts or questions that you have down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching again, and goodbye!